Bonjour everyone, welcome back to my studio. Today we're going to talk about split toning. I'm going to show you how we can do some um, pretty cool split toning effect. What is split toning? Well, generally speaking, it's when we push a certain color cast in our highlights and another one in our shadows, generally a complementary one. So we could push warmth in our highlights and cool in our shadows, for example. How can we generate a split toning effect? Well, let's have a look. Way number one. I'm going to go into my curves. So I'm going to open this tab. I'm going to make it bigger as well. So you can see uh, better. Generally speaking, I like to um, open it bigger so I can have more control. It's uh, a bit more comfortable for me. So. And I'm going to grab my red curve right there and I'm going to grab it like that and just here I'm injecting red, okay? And it's mostly contaminating the top end of my image. So it's mostly affecting my highlights and less so my shadows. Here are my highlights, here are my shadows. So you see that I have a bigger effect on my highlights than on my shadows. If I want to protect my shadows, I just have to do this. So I grab my point right there and I just push it just on the line right there, okay? So below that point is going to hug the unity line and it's going to remain unaffected. And now I'm mostly affecting my highlights. So if I turn this off and then on, you see that it's affecting my highlights. It's not looking really pretty, but it's just to uh, show you how it works. So let's just inject a little bit of it. Let's grab now our blue curve. Let's subtract blue. And when we subtract blue, we get the opponent color, which is yellow. So I'm injecting some yellow in my highlights as well. I'm gonna grab my point and I'm going to, again, make sure that with the bottom of my curve I'm hugging the unity line. So that's before, that's after. Before, after. We successfully pushed warmth in our highlights. But how about cool? Well, we're going to do that. So I'm going to grab my red curve and I'm going to grab a point here below. I'm going push it down, which is going to inject some cyan in my shadows. So by subtracting red, again, we get the opponent color, which is cyan. So here um, I can grab this point right here, but let's uh, actually do it like that. I can grab that point and press option or alt. It's going to hug the unity line here, okay? Uh, and I'm going to do the same for blue. So I'm gonna grab my blue curve and push it up. So I'm going to inject some blue in my shadows. All right, I'm gonna click on my middle point right there and press Alt or Option on Mac. And there you go, so that's before that's after, before, after. Really easy way to create a split tone scheme with, in that case, warmth in our highlights and coolness in our shadows. Now, how else can we do that? Well, let's try with the HDR tab. So I'm going to click on my HDR tab. I'm going to reset my node and let's actually use our shadow trackball right there. So I'm gonna use my panel right here, um, so HDR, and let's push some cool in our shadows. Okay, so that's before, that's after, before, after. And if I wanna see exactly what I'm doing, uh, I can press here, okay? And it's going to show me uh, the region that is affected. And if I want to manipulate 
what is affected exactly, I can click here and it's going to show me the zone. And see, it's affecting everything that is below that line. And here's a histogram representation of my image. So in my highlights again and my shadows. So let's actually make sure that it's not contaminating too much the highlights on the shirt of the gentleman on the left. Okay, yeah. So that's before, that's after. Before, after. Looking pretty good, right? And now I'm going to push some warmth in the highlights. I'm going to go back to my zones and I'm going to touch on my light trackball, which is the, the third one. I'm going to push warmth here with my panel. Okay, let's exaggerate it a bit so that you can see it better on YouTube. Uh, so that's before, that's after. Before, after. And uh, if I go to my zones here, you see that I can see some coolness in our shadows and warmth in our highlights with a pivot point about right here, okay? So we can also push coolness in our highlights or a different color and then another color in our uh, shadows, right? Uh, it's up to you. But if I want here to, I don't know, so let's go back to our HDR tab and if I want to um, push some coolness in our, or let's say I'm going to push some green. Let's say, okay, green in our highlights and on our shadows, I'm going to push um, magenta. Let's go with the opponent color here. Okay, uh, something like that. Before, after, before, after. If that's a look you're into for a music video maybe or I don't know, you want to push a, a certain look that is a bit bold and creative, maybe that's something you could experiment with. So, should I show you a third way to create a cool split tone scheme and resolve? Not sure. Well, maybe if you pause the video, you smash the like button and subscribe to the channel, maybe I'll do it. Okay, I'm going to do it. Please pause the video first um, and uh, subscribe and smash the like button. All right, let's go. I'm going to create a luminance key. So um, let's go in this tab right here and uh, I'm going to go in this tab. Okay, and see it says loom. I'm going to click loom. All right, I'm going to grab my load checkbox here. I'm going to go all the way up here I'm going to press Shift H and I'm going to see the region that is affected. All right, so the region where we can see color is the region that we're going to affect. And the region in gray is the region that is uh, going to be unaffected by our adjustment. So the thing is that we want a soft transition but because we can see some hard edges here. So I'm going to grab the low soft. If you are not subscribed yet to my Instagram account, you are missing out because I am now posting breakdowns of some of my past professional project there and other stuff. So uh, feel free to have a look and uh, hit the follow button. I'll see you there. Control, I'm going to go up a little bit so we can see a smoother transition. I'm going to click Shift H again and now with uh, my gain, okay, in my primaries, I'm going to push some warmth in my highlights. And if I go off on, we can see that there is warmth, even in the shirt of uh, the gentleman on the left, there is warmth here in the highlights and our shadows are mostly unaffected. I'm going to create another node, another serial node with, what's the keyboard shortcut again for that? Option S. Option S, yeah, but I have a shortcut right here, so I'm gonna press my shortcut. But option S, if you don't know how to create a serial node, you should know how to create a serial node. And, and I'm going to go again into my qualifier tab, I'm going to press loom, and this time I'm going to grab my high point. I'm going to drag it down, again, Shift H, 
see the region that is affected. And now we see that we're excluding our highlights, right? Because uh, there is an absence of color, right? Uh, it's getting completely blank, right? In our highlights, which is what we want. And uh, yeah, I'm going to go into my high soft to have a soft transition, all right? To make a uh, seamless correction. I'm going to grab my high point there and uh, yeah, make sure that I'm leaving my highlights alone. Okay, should be good. So shift H again. And now I'm going to go and use my lift in my primary. I'm going to go cool with my trackball. Before, after, before, after. Isn't that looking good, right? So if I grab my two nodes and I go disable, enable, disable, enable. There you go. Three ways to create a really cool split tone scheme in Resolve. So smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment down below. Tell me what you thought about it. I'll see you in the next one. And um, yeah, bye for now.